Hey guys, Chronic here again, and this is going to be my Let's Play Episode 3. And I made and built this thing on camera, and I recorded it, and I was going to show it to you guys, but I'm going to redo it. It works perfectly, there's nothing wrong with it, except for if I go into this door where the loot station is, and I loot everything... If I like leave my computer on and I go to bed or something, the spiders actually can see me from this far. As you can see, they're looking at me as they come through, so they can definitely see me. And the spiders sometimes, like one out of a hundred, is gonna get stuck. And then once one gets stuck, it just kind of creates like a a problem. Um, this system isn't supposed to let the spiders get stuck ever, so I don't understand why they do. But normally they don't see. Normally it works just fine. They just go underneath. And go and they drown, but for some reason, one out of like a, I don't know how many, I can count, um, get stuck. So we're gonna build this taller uh, so they can't see. So if you guys have built a mob evader before, you know the signs just go opposite square each level, and then you put water in between those and that's how it is all the way up. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I'm well, not sure, but if you haven't I'm showing you guys. And then you just place blocks in between here, letting you go up. And that lets the mobs come up and so they can breathe on the way up. Alright guys, I'm ready to start building the separator and the spider and mob grinder. Um, I feel comfortable with this height. I've done some testing and they see me on the way up, but when they get up there, they kind of dance around, uh, meaning they don't see me. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So for this next layer, so I have alternating signs all the way up, but for this layer right here, we're actually gonna fill it up all the way. So we're gonna go like this. And this is a little this part's a little tricky. And what I mean by that here, let me continue to build here. So this is gonna come out like this, because this is where they're gonna separate. So when they come out, they're gonna fall through this these two squares here. But look at the water doesn't populate this square. Um, actually, wait. No, no. Take that water out. These signs need to be destroyed here. So that's all solid blocks right here, because I destroyed those two signs. Then the next layer that's going to push them out only needs to have water blocks on the back. But as you see, the water doesn't come over so what you actually need to do which is unfortunate and kind of frustrating is you need to put the blocks underneath and that pushes the water out you need to destroy these two blocks now the most important part of this is those two spots where you destroyed the uh, dirt you need to populate those with water blocks it's not going to work so once you do that, you want to put signs where they're going to drop down. So there's no water there. Go ahead and break the glass here. And that's where the mobs will fall. And then let's go ahead and continue to build. Actually, that's about right. So didn't need to do those. I like to make it look clean. So after we've done that, we want to go ahead and continue this on. And I could just build this and then show you guys, but I want to give you guys the uh, chance to take a look at how it's built. Oh, I might need to, need to go get more glass. So we're going to have, we need the spider's legs 
to pass through this right here. Oop. To pass through this right here. And then the legs are going to kind of grab onto the water here. So what you want to do is put two more signs here and here. Which, so you can put water blocks here and here. So that will force the spiders to go ahead and go through. And then you just bring this out four squares because that's where they're going to go up. So we see the four squares where they're going to come up. And that's where we're going to put the water source. It's starting to get dark here. Actually, I'm going to pause it and I'm not going to change anything. Make it day. Alright, guys, so it's daytime now. So what you want to do is put a block right here. So it pushes all the water down. And then you break that square and you put a sign right here. So it stops the water from falling. And that's what's gonna do your loot. So when you when they die, the loot drops. Alright. So go ahead and cover that up. So the spiders will go ahead and go underneath this go underneath that, and they'll hit this point, and this is where kind of the magic comes in. I'm going to go ahead and put a sign. You want a water block to be in this area, so they'll jump up, their legs will touch this water block, and they'll move up to the drowning area. So you want to put a sign here, and you want to put a sign right here, and that creates that little water pocket. Up again to where they're gonna drown. I believe you have to have a sign on this square too. I think that's where I'm gonna end up messing up. So it holds up the water in all spots, but right there, it's my TV. Oh, I have the water. Okay, so you go ahead and put them there. have all the water source blocks here so what they'll do is the spiders will come up they'll drown in these four squares and then when they die and the loot drops from either corner it'll go ahead and send the loot dropping out which is exactly what we want so let's go ahead and cover it up so they drowned so we've completed the top area of our kind of grinder. All right, so they're gonna fall out those two squares. So we need to give them a nice clean path to fall down. If you don't, they'll actually kind of come towards you and they won't fall directly down. So you gotta make a tube so they can do so. This one. But you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and do the tube. Alright guys, so I've built my tube. As you can see, that's where they spawn from right there. Or not spawn, but drop. So they're going to drop down. They're going to hit the water. And come out here. So let's go ahead and get our lava block. Come on, go down. I'm going to grab my lava. And then what we want to do is create a... You want to have a stream going into, so they're going to fall down, they're going to hit this, and they're going to lean into this, they're going to jump and go up into the lava. The lava block needs to be right here. I believe I can just go ahead and in there now. Oops. Oops. There we go. My bad. Where's my glass block? Now for the spiders. 
the uh, loot's going to go ahead and drop down here, so let's just say okay, let's, now as I remember, it actually needs to be one block back for them to match up correctly here, because I want I want this to be the loot spot for right now, and I can always change it later when I want to, so let's go ahead and just make it flow, and then I can't believe I'm out of glass again, that's okay, we'll go ahead and I'll change it later. I'm actually burning up some glass right now. So we'll go ahead and have it come over this way. And I can always fix it later. But you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and make our, our tube here. I think this is correct. Actually, this is not. I just wasted a bunch of glass. No! Everyone hates this. I know the sound of the breaking glass is horrible. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So go ahead and go like that. And I believe this is the correct square. Yes, this is. And there we go. So this is where the loot's going to fall out right here. So let's give it a two coming down. That's how it's going to come down, just like that. I'm just going to bring the glass all the way down on those three spots, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I finished. It's all done, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm praying that it's going to work. This is untested live. I created everything live in front of you, and let's see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and push F3 and look down. You'll see the spawning has started actually quite aggressively. Um, I've gone around all the caves, um, every number you see is my trap, there are no caves anywhere uh, that aren't lit up, so so they can see me as they go up, but if I'm standing over here, eventually they don't even look at me anymore, they'll kind of look away, That's, there we go, he drops down, he actually gets hurt, which, actually it's kind of good that they get hurt, because they'll die faster. Is there a glass block above here? Okay, it wasn't a glass block above there, so I might have been losing loot, but now they're, they don't go as high up, so we'll get 100%. I don't see, oh, there's a spider. So far, everything works good. Drop it down. And the spider's leg should just nice. Just go over. We should go up. keep getting killed. Now, the thing is they're also getting hurt from the light for that second while they fall. Which is kind of good, actually. Um, I don't mind. Now, if you were trying to build some kind of system where you don't want them to get hurt, you could uh, maybe put a couple blocks above the glass and then it would shade it a little bit so they wouldn't get on fire. And then... Uh, destroy a few blocks underneath, add some water, and then the fall damage won't hurt them. Um, if you want to keep them alive. Now you see how the spiders just go ahead and they stack up, and they drown. I haven't been showing that. Let's go ahead and show that. You can see they're drowning, and they're going to drop there. There we go. You can see you drop down. There's... Oh! What do we have here? Squids, right next to my house. Very cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, press like, subscribe, please. I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming up. I'm gonna be uploading my world to Megafile so you guys can take a look at it and walk around and see the different things in my world. And I will see you guys next episode.